Thank you for joining us today. We're excited to share with you a very different approach to SEO. This is what we're going to cover. How to sign up, how to install the plugin, how the system increases your page count and adds additional navigation to your homepage. We're also going to talk about how the system will help you to select keywords, how to write a link text to support those keywords, and then to write a full page that fully develops the keyword through what we call a full keyword description. How to manage your new account? Let's see what Do It SEO can do for you. All right, if you're not already there, you can go to uh, www.doitseo.com and follow these six easy steps. So, step one go to the site, go to one of our banners, and then click on the Do It Yourself. That'll take you to a plans uh, page to select a plan. We have two plans that we offer. One is a do it yourself, which means that you'll be responsible for creating all the content, selecting the keywords. And then we have the we do it for you plan. We do all of the writing. We help you select the keywords and you really don't have to do anything except work with us and really help us to understand what your primary selling message is. And then we'll take it from there. Now, one thing I did mention is that the one way inbound links are only available on the We Do It For You plans. So that's one of the incentives to take that plan is to get the one way inbound links. Let's go ahead and select a plan and uh, for the sake of the demonstration here, we're gonna go ahead and select the free uh, five keyword plan. We're gonna choose that and that'll take us to the sign up page, which is a very simple, it's probably one of the simplest sign up pages I've seen. And uh, basically all we're asking for is your uh, URL. In this case, I'm putting in uh, Sweet Corgi Dogs because I'm a Corgi lover and have four dogs myself. And if it all looks good and you agree with the terms and conditions, go ahead and hit the check mark. And it'll take you to the next page. So we're at step four. It's all been pretty simple so far. And on this page, the system's asking for you to enter in your five keywords. Now you can enter in keywords that you may have thought of or researched yourself. We also uh, will make recommendations. In this case, the system's looked at sweetcorgidogs.com and has come up with some you know, co-location or what they call co-occurring keywords. These are key phrases or words that appear around the chosen keyword. In this case, it's, it's taking it from the, uh, the URL. But I've selected three here, cute corgi dogs, sweet corgi puppies, and sweet Pembroke West corgis. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this. Even though I'm not selecting all five, I want to show you how the system works. And I'm also telling the system not to include Sweet Corgi, the one that I typed in. All right, so once you've entered in your keywords, the system then will take you to a, a plugin installation page. And you basically have three options. One is you can let us do it, do the plugin installation for you for free. You just uh, click uh, enter in the FTP details and we'll do it for you. The second one is to email the plugin to your webmaster. And the third is the one that I like to use is just do it yourself because it is, it is very simple. So once you select, in this case, the do it yourself. Okay, now we've come to the final step of the process. And it's uh, pretty simple from here. We just have to uh, first upload the files. It's a zip file that you place into the root directory of your website, the same folder as your home page and then simply cut and paste the code here, depending on what your site ends in either .php or .html. Select the appropriate code, place it at the base of the index page, and then you can go ahead and test it by hitting the test plugin. The system will go out and make sure that everything's been installed appropriately. All right, so let's just take a look at what the HTML code looks like. You can see here, uh, I've used puppydogs.com as the example, and you click and copy it to the clipboard and then paste it into your index page and you're done. If it tests out, then you'll get this page, which uh, will tell you what domain. You can have multiple d domains in our system. People that are doing Google PPC use this, five free keywords, bolster or build up their landing pages quick way to develop very relevant content that gets links put in automatically to help quality scores. This is a really valuable tool in that world as well as in the, in the SEO world of just trying to get your keywords ranked. So this is the sweetcorgidogs.com. Uh, we're in the keyword content manager. And as you can see, we have three keywords here. We opted for five, but we didn't put in two. So uh, the system's saying, hey, you, you know, we selected three of the five. Uh, all three of them are active. Then we have these three columns here, difficulty, link text, and description. Well, 
the symbols that will appear in these columns will either be a green check mark, a yellow question mark, or a red X. These are symbols that the system uses to help guide you to make what you're doing better. In the case of difficulty, it's looking for ranking difficulty. If you have long tail key phrases like cute corgi dogs, these are three, it's a three word keyword, you're going to get a green check because the system says that's probably, you know, a lot easier to rank than if I just put the word corgi, which is very broad, has a lot of competing pages, and you probably would have got a red X on that. Two word, you know, it was just cute corgi probably would have got a yellow question mark, which indicates it may be a little bit more difficult. None of the symbols used by the system to help guide you will prevent you from doing what you want to do. All right, link text. What a link text is, it's a single paragraph that describes a little bit more fully what the keyword is. The link texts are associated with a new navigation page that will appear at the bottom of your website after you install the plugin called the web reference page. So the red X's are appear here because we haven't entered any content. The description page is one level below the link text or the paragraph that describes the keyword phrase, in this case, cute corgi dogs. So I'm going to write a paragraph about cute corgi dogs. That'll be the link text. And then cute corgi dogs will be hyperlinked and if clicked, will take the viewer one level down to a full page description that will be 300 words or more that will fully develop the keyword. So let's go ahead and add a, a new keyword here, just so you can see how this works. So I'm going to add a keyword. So when I add a new keyword, this is the page that will come up. Um, at the top there, under keyword, you can see Corgi Champions. And notice I have the uh, yellow question mark, because it is a two-word keyword. Below is the link text. We, I discussed this briefly. This is a, a paragraph that describes or fully you know, that more develops the, the keyword phrase. And in this case, Corgi champions are difficult to produce and usually take several years of breeding and training to achieve champion status. There are different ways to accomplishing the goal. Uh, we at Sweet Corgi Dogs are experts and can provide you help at every step of the way. All right, that's all there is to it. It's just a, a, a a text that can more fully develop the theme, or in this case, the keyword. So I'm going to save the changes. Now I have to enter in the keyword description, which again is the uh, page that sits or resides one layer below the web reference page, where the link text resides. And in this case, if you if you notice, uh, the system has given uh, some suggestions here of relevant keywords and phrases, and so I'm going to pick Pembroke Welsh Corgi to include in my content to increase the relevant density um, in that content. So when first buying your Pembroke Welsh Corgi uh, show dog, looking at his pedigree, you will have spotted the champion. So this goes on. Notice that I do have a green check because we have over 383 words in this particular article or this page that was written. So the system does track as you're writing and will be giving you either a red X or a yellow question mark or a green check. When you hit the green check, then you're pretty much done. You can go ahead and save changes. Now also, if you notice at the bottom here, you can, instead of writing uh, your own text, you could link out to a URL page that you may already have, which is convenient, especially if you're doing pay-per-click type campaigns, trying to bolster up landing pages. All right, so we go back to the Keyword Content Manager. As you can see here, the, the keyword Corgi Champions has been added, and we have now four keywords. They're active. The difficulty, remember, because we're using a two-word keyword there, we have a kind of a, a yellow question mark. However, we do have green checks in both the link text and the description. So now all we have to do is go ahead and, and write the link text for the remaining three keywords in the description, and that's it. We're done. The system will then do everything else for us automatically. And yeah, oh, by the way, we got still one more keyword to go and we can add it at any time.